I'm Ryan, and I'm part of Texas Impact's digital support team. Digital engagement is critical for advocacy, and that's even more true when we can't get together in person, like during the COVID pandemic. You're probably familiar with Facebook and maybe Instagram. These are examples of what we call social media platforms. In this video, I'm gonna help you set up a Twitter account. Twitter is the social media platform of choice for advocacy. It's not the best place to share photos of your pets with your family and friends, but when you wanna get a lawmaker's attention or tell a lot of people about a bill or a policy issue, Twitter is the platform to use. I'm going to set up a new Twitter account. We'll go step by step so you can see exactly how to set up your account. To start, you'll type twitter.com into your URL bar and press enter. When you do that, you should get to a page that looks exactly like this. At the top, you'll be prompted to put in your username and password if you already have an account. But today, we're setting up a new account from scratch. To set up a new account, you'll click the Sign Up button right here. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to put in your name, a phone number, and your date of birth. You can also, instead of using a phone number, use an email which is what I'll do today. Now that I've got all of my information filled in, I'll click the blue Next button in the top right-hand corner. You may get a screen asking you to customize your experience. If you leave the box checked, Twitter will use your browsing history to prioritize what content it displays for you. We'll talk about that in a later video, but for now, I'll uncheck that box. Next, I'm prompted to create my account, and it's just an overview of all of the information I just put in. Ryan Yates, my name, Ryan at texasimpact.org, my email, and my birthday. Since I know that's all correct, I will press sign up. Twitter will send me an email verification code, so I'm going to pull my email up here in another tab. I'll give you a tip for if you find it confusing to have more than one tab open on your computer. If you can also get email on your phone or tablet, use that device to check for the Twitter email verification code so you don't lose your place on the computer screen. And look, Twitter has sent me an email with a six digit code so I'm going to copy that code and go back to my Twitter account, paste the code in, or I could type it in. And again, I'll press the blue next button. Now I'm verified. The last step in the process is to set a password. Like most passwords, your Twitter password needs to be at least eight characters long. I'll create my password now. Twitter says the password has enough characters so I can press next. Now you'll set up your Twitter profile. The first step of setting up your profile will be uploading your profile picture. Remember that you will be using Twitter to interact with lawmakers. So a photo of your pet or you in a Halloween costume may not be the image you want. Just something to consider. Another tip, I suggest choosing a profile picture before you even start setting up your Twitter account. Save the picture so that it's easy for you to find on your computer's desktop. Then, when you get to this step in your Twitter account setup, just click on this gray circle where you see the plus camera button. That prompts the computer to show you all of the files on your computer. Now, I just need to locate the one that I decided I would use today. I'll click Choose for Upload, which will open that photo within Twitter. Next, I'll decide how I want to situate the photo within the frame. I could zoom in and drag the image around if I wanted, but today I'm going to leave me and my mom and my sister all in the frame. Once I've got the photo how I like it, I'll click apply. I'll get an opportunity to see what it will look like in that little circle, which is how other people will see it on my Twitter profile. So to make sure I like it in this setup, and then I'll press next. And the last thing it's going to ask for is a bio. 
Your bio is a short 160 character description of yourself. And that's about the length of two sentences. Again, since you'll be using your Twitter account to interact with lawmakers, it's a good idea to include information that puts you in context. For example, you could say you're a small business owner or an essential worker. You could say you're a lifelong resident of your community or a graduate of a local college. You could say something about your faith tradition or something about an issue you're passionate about. And remember, you can change your bio and your profile picture too, so don't worry about making it perfect. I'll type some basic information about myself And then I'll press next. Twitter also prompts you to select topics that you are interested in. The topics you choose will help to determine how Twitter prioritizes information in your feed. You're probably used to how Facebook uses information about you to display some of your friends more than others. And Twitter does the same thing. So since you wanna use Twitter for advocacy engagement, you'll probably want to choose topics related to advocacy. I'm going to scroll down to the news section and choose U.S. National News, and COVID-19. Next, it's going to prompt me to follow other accounts. These could be individual people, or they could be organizations or businesses. Today, I'm going to follow the first 10 accounts that Twitter suggests for me, and press follow. After you're all set up, it would be wise to take some time to find the people and groups you work with in real life and follow them on Twitter, like, Texas Impact and staff members, leaders in your faith tradition, and of course, your elected officials. Your browser will probably prompt you to save your password. Do it. It will make things faster for you later. And finally, this is what Twitter looks like when you have an account all set up. See, it's just that quick and easy. Don't forget to watch the rest of the videos in our Twitter for Advocacy series. Next up, I'll take you on a tour of your Twitter homepage.